Let's shift focus to the political battles that have been taking place in Bihar, where we began. Remember, the Prime Minister has been conducting a rally in Nevada. Nitish Kumar, meanwhile, who is an ally now of the BJP in the NDA, has uh, been speaking about uh, developments uh, work that has been taking place in Bihar after the NDA government took charge. He claimed that earlier during Lalu Prasad Yadav's rule, people could not step outside the house once the sun had set. That has completely changed. He's also hit out at Rabadi Devi, his, uh, the wife of Lalu Yadav, remember, who became chief minister after him. Uh, which is, of course, interesting given that Nitish Kumar has been with every political party under the sun over the past three or four years. Let's listen in. Before, no one was out of the house. There was no way to go and go. Now, everyone has become a way. So, don't forget it. We are 18 years old. ऐसा मत बूझिएगा कि इसके पहले वो लोगों को मिला था पंद्रह साल और क्या काम किए थे कोई काम किए थे क्या पति पत्नी राज किए और कोई काम हुआ था कोई काम नहीं हुआ था मोदी जी ने बोला था इन्हीं मुख्यमंत्री पर कि डीएनए खराब है यही मुख्यमंत्री जी कहते थे कि मिट्टी में मिल जाएंगे मर जाएंगे मिट जाएंगे लेकिन भाजपा में नहीं जाएंगे तो ऐसे व्यक्तियों का क्या मतलब है कोई भी सवाल पूछना इस पर मुद्दे की बात तो नहीं की मुद्दे की बात होनी चाहिए और प्रधानमंत्री जी और भाजपा के लोग डरे हुए हैं और साइकोलॉजिकल ये मनोवैज्ञानिक जो है उस हिसाब का बातें जो है ये लोग कर रहे हैं कि चार पर Okay, now let's get Abhishek back in to get a perspective from uh, the ranks of the state level battle. With all due respect to uh, Tejasvi and Nitish Kumar and the rest, uh, there is a different category at which uh, Narendra Modi is operating and a different category at the state level that uh, Tejasvi and uh, Nitish Kumar are operating. They are hoping to win seats primarily from Bihar. They won't be having an impact in Karnataka and other places. So let's get back to Abhishek. Abhishek ji, now in the state level battle, there's a Modi factor which is now I know above, above all of this. But in the state factor, in a, in a head to head between what is Nitish and Tejasvi, no longer necessarily Nitish and Lalu, in between Nitish and Tejasvi, who is managing sort of to get their point across more effectively right now? Actually, uh, Rishabh, uh, what I genuinely feel on the ground, uh, Bihar ground, uh, welcome back to again, uh, welcome again back to Bihar, that uh, Tejasvi Yadav is uh, regularly uh, attacking on the credibility factor of Nitish Kumar. I personally spoke to uh, Misa Bharti today morning uh, as well on, uh, though it was off record uh, conversation, but what I personally fent, uh, felt that since uh, uh, Misa Bharti and Dr. Ragini from uh, Saran, or you may call Chapra, and uh, Tej Pratap Yadav, all these uh, half a dozen big faces of uh, they what uh, what I uh, uh, was able to understand though it was it is off record that they are regularly attacking on the uh, credibility factor of Nitish Kumar. You are also an old journalist, and what uh, we uh, it was uh, perhaps a rally uh, in Mujafferpur, uh, Pur, Bihar's Mujafferpur, uh, where D. Uh, uh, Many of Bihari, three Bihari uh, were attacked. So this is a very big factor. This is uh, going to be a very big factor in the coming election, what I personally feel. And it will be a more uh, interesting uh, factor. Uh, though, uh, times have changed now. Uh, and it will be, of course, uh, in, a, in the form of a result on uh, the 4th June. And But uh, the big thing is, uh, what I personally feel from Bihar, uh, that Tejasvi though and the entire RGD is attacking on the credibility factor of Okay, so something very interesting uh, is taking place. Remember, the battle for Bihar is completely different from the battle for UP or the battle for Bengal. Completely different things that are happening there, okay? So now in Bihar, a few interesting things have happened now. I wanted to make a note of this because, I mean, heck, how are we going to predict where the election is going to go? Uh, but there are a few interesting things. Number one, you saw a transition of power. Generational transitions of power are not easy. You've seen the Congress party desperately struggling with it for the past 15, 20 years to do a generational transition of power from Sonia to Rahul, right? Uh, the Yadavs in UP, which is Mulayam Yadav and Akhilesh did it very effectively. Akhilesh became the leader of the party even while his father was still alive. Tejasvi has done a reasonable job of doing that generational transition of power. 
after his performance in the state assembly elections last time around. So Tejasvi has become the face of the party. Of course, credibility value, well, not really. I mean, Lalu Prasad Yadav is one of the only convicted politicians uh, in this country of corruption. Uh, Tejasvi Yadav himself and his entire family have got so many, so many cases going on against them. Uh, you know, let's forget it. It's difficult to even comprehend how many cases they've got. Nitish Kumar, credibility, I don't know. If you flip sides every few months, I don't know who you're with. Uh, so credibility value, I think the people of Bihar are, are going to have to take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, a lot of other factors are going to come in. And I think uh, because there's a lack of credibility everywhere, uh, the traditional factors of identity and, and pride and, and caste and region and of course, the overarching factor of Narendra Modi is going to matter. Very interesting local level fight which is still going on. Because remember, these the JDU might be with the NDA, but they want to be with the NDA, but a larger part of the NDA with more than a dozen seats. The RJD is probably not going to be in the next government, but if they happen to have a hope, they want to make sure that they have 12, 15, 20 seats out of Bihar. That will make them one of the largest parties in the Lok Sabha. Uh, gives them a lot of muscle power going ahead for the past five for the next five years. Interesting uh, local battle going on. Thank you, Abhishek, once again for joining us. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.